My sister and I came in here to purchase one of each shoe. And I'm not, I'm not gonna be rude, but a, a Caucasian lady walked up to me five, ten times talking about we recording. We ain't recording them. Ain't nobody phone. She done checked our phones, our cameras ten times. Nobody's recording. But she done came over here ten times asking me to put my phone up, to put my camera up, and ain't shit being recorded. This is Phipps Plaza. Go ahead and stream this shit. I'm about to get kicked out of here. She told us we can't purchase 15 pairs of shoes. We got to do a remote order. We can't purchase 15 pairs of shoes individually. We have to leave and go do a remote order. But if she's going to buy five pair, I'm going to buy five pair. He's going to buy five pair. How is that a problem? So they're about to kick me out. And I just want you guys to understand why. What happened? They're kicking us out because you can't buy five pairs of shoes. I can't buy five pairs of shoes. And neither can she buy five pairs oh, of you, shoes because we have to do a remote order okay. that right. makes no what sense. Do do? Okay, she wanted, they wanted to buy 15 shoes. Gotcha. She said, she's recording because that or because you were not, because you weren't not. Okay, so. The reason she's recording that, let me explain to you. And then I'll, let me leave because I don't want to get go to jail for something ignorant. Excuse just, me. Just, just go outside real quick. Yeah. Come on. This is the lady right here. Remember her face. We're in Phipps. Uh huh. We're about to leave. Because they're being very racist. Very racist. Yeah. You can't buy five pairs of shoes. Neither can they buy five pairs of shoes. You, know, you gotta do a remote you can't order. With you can't with that. Yeah. Well, we gotta leave. Yeah. They ain't get my motherfucking money. Yeah. They doing a lot. So <laughs> we just got kicked out of Gucci because we can't buy five pairs of shoes. Shanice can't buy five pairs of shoes. Nobody else can buy five pairs of shoes because, you know, I guess because we black as fuck. Because we black as fuck. I guess that's why we can't do it. So. We're here. I just want to get on live because this is how shit happens. This is how shit happens. Like, why the fuck is security talking to my sister? Why the fuck is the owner of Fitz? Because we're trying to purchase shoes? Oh, because we're trying to purchase shoes? Bitch, you're trying to put money in your pocket? Over $15,000, bitch, and y'all want to kick us the fuck up out of this hoe? Oh, for real? I will never shop in this bitch again. And that's Hello, and welcome back to the Feminine Upgrade. So, when I saw this video, I just, it's like, mm, that's why we don't shop at Gucci. I'm definitely not surprised by what happened at all, but this is a learning lesson for them and other people that still shopping at Gucci, like they don't care about black people at all. So it's like they were about to spend, what was it, $70,000 or something like that, all at Gucci. Like, I'm happy that this situation happened and that they didn't waste their money at this store and now they can spend it on something else. And I get why people shop at these big time name brand places. No, it's all for status and, you know, to show off that you got wealth. And showing off wealth, it's also showing off that you are worthy of, I don't know, like maybe special treatment from others. Because sometimes when people see that you got money, they start to treat you differently. There's like every year some type of controversial, racist thing going on at one of these top brand stores and it's just like and there's so many other stores that sell the same things but just have a different name on it and it's like why not shop with them chances are their stuff is cheaper but it's gonna be the same thing that you're looking for it's like people really just want to buy for the brand 
you look at all of these name brands, you know, Louis Vuitton, Coach, Michael Kors, um, Dior, Gucci, and it's like, what percentage of these name brand stores are owned by black people? One way to tell if someone just ran into a lot of money and that they're not used to having money is when they start popping out with these big brand items. Because if somebody has been had money all their life, like they don't need to show off all of that because it's not important to them. And am I the only one who's noticed just how like ugly these clothes and purses and stuff be looking that these big time brands be selling are like, you guys really want to spend your hard earned money on something that's super ugly, but just because it has a brand name labeled on it. Mm-mm, I, you're not catching me doing that like if it's ugly I'm not about to buy it but I don't want to make this video too long so basically I just want to say stop giving your money to these brands that don't care about you that's going to disrespect you you know and invest it in something else something that's going to get you more money or invest it into smaller businesses. You know, like you, you got all this money, you can help others out to get to your status. But don't waste it on people and things that's not gonna matter 10 years from now. I mean, they don't really matter right now either, but stop wasting money. And I will see you guys in another video.